Well, hey guys, welcome to the channel. I'm glad you're here. Glad you're stopping by. Uh, I was going to put out a video yesterday, but I didn't because of reasons, especially since yesterday was my wife's birthday, Mrs. Bits. And you guys let her know in the comment section, uh, I mean the community page, uh, about that. And she definitely appreciates all the birthday wishes. Um, hopefully this Saturday, um, we're going to finish off her birthday wishes with something she's been looking forward to for about a year. Um, we're going to go out to Bonhoeff, which we actually did a Bits and Places video about that. It's a German restaurant in Huntington. Um, she's been looking forward to this for a whole year. Like, we never really get to go to these things, and um, I'm just glad we're able to go. Um, but, yeah, it's her birthday uh, week, so I'm going to give her a hard time. It was funny because on Facebook, um, <laughs> I didn't even share her birthday, but... Uh, last year, her birthday posts that I made, for some odd reason, came back up, and everybody started saying happy birthday to her. And I was like, man, I, I don't even have to make a post. And uh, the post was, it's like, uh, my wife now can get a senior discount at restaurants. And let me tell you something. Don't do that. Don't ever do that. Don't tell your, <laughs> don't tell your wife that because it's not good. If she has a spray bottle full of water, it's going in her face. Um, and we laugh about it. Um, it was pretty funny because I didn't really know why it came up. But I think what happened was she replied to a post that was there about a year ago. Um, if you hear the little demon in the background, that's uh, that's the pugs that we adopted. And they are driving me nuts. They're driving me and my wife nuts. Uh if you want a pug, you can have a pug. You guys want a pug? You guys want two pugs? I I I love them. I, they're 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 nice. They're nice to have. Uh, they are very loud and very very annoying. Um, I think mistakes were <laughs> made, but we're trying to fix it. We're trying to get through everything. Uh, we didn't raise them since they was. You know, babies. So they already had these behaviors before we got them. Um, they are used to a country setting where nothing really happens, uh, and where we live in the city, um, there's a lot of things that's happening. So the dogs always has something to bark at, um, and she thinks she runs the whole state of Kentucky, um, and that's Puggy. I I've been making a lot of videos like shorts about her, like both of them, and the cats. Um, I'm just showing the nice things, not showing the mean things they do. Um, but yeah, they're definitely annoying about that then. <laughs> so um, there's something I'm doing right now, uh, kind of out of necessity, uh, just due to where I don't have insurance anymore. Um, and plus, I can't get in with my doctor. I'm trying to find a new doctor, A. Um, I'm trying to get insurance, B, which I can't get insurance really until... Um, I get full-time at my job as a permanent person. So hopefully when that happens, I'll have insurance. I'll start covering my medications again. But one thing I am doing, there's a couple medicines. Um, well, one in particular, I've been taking for a couple of years. It's helped me for a while. But lately, um, actually for about a month or so, it started making me really anxious and like... A thing, a dream of really bad things happening, not me doing things, but things bad things are happening. And it was happening every single night or during the day when I got anxious. And I kind of quit it. I quit taking it. I, I finished it and I quit taking it. I didn't ask for a refill. Um, it does worry my wife a little bit because, um, you know, where I've been on it for so long, she's definitely afraid that with my mental health issues from the past, um, they can come back and bite me, which I, I don't think they will. Uh, and honestly, um, now that it's getting out of my system, I am starting to notice uh, a little bit, I, I feel a little bit better. Um, but the big thing is, is definitely insurance. Um, so we're trying to figure that out. Uh, and I can't get into my doctor uh, currently uh, because... It's going to be about a month before they could see me, and all my medications are out of refills. And I did request some refills. Um, 
I don't know if I'll get them, uh, especially my diabetes medicine, um, which is kind of scary, but I'm going to try to maintain it. Um, I've been trying my best to not eat junk. Um, I've been trying my best to do a little bit better because, um, yeah, I, uh, I'm freaked out. I'm freaked out about it because there's some medications like the, the, the diabetes medicine and my other uh, mental health medications that if I run out of them and I have to quit them cold turkey because I can't see my doctor, I am kind of worried about that because one medication, actually a few, I've been taking um, that's helped me a lot. One is the anatriptyline, which helps me sleep at night. And I take uh, Wellbutrin, and that helps with mental health stuff. Um, again, the latitude is gone. I do have stuff for my heart and all that jazz. And uh, the bad thing about it, not only can I s not see my doctor, uh, the fact is where I don't have insurance, uh, the prices of this shit skyrocketed. So and I have to make some sacrifices. I'm like, well... I'm feeling okay here. I haven't had these problems here for a long time. Um, a being the coronary heart disease. I haven't really had problems with my heart in a long time. Um, and I've just been taking it. And I've never seen um, a cardi cardiac, car cardiac <laughs> heart doctor. Uh, I haven't seen a heart doctor in a while. And I don't think, um, you know, maybe they would have took me off. But we're going to try to regulate that, especially with the diabetes stuff. Since I'm type 2, um, I can manage. I can manage. I know I'm taking Ozempic. But I do know that you can still get a discount on the Ozempic without insurance. So I'm going to try to work around that. Uh, as of right now, I don't have any um, prescriptions left. And like I said, I or refills left. Um, I did request them. Doesn't mean it's going to come, but usually, uh, if I request that stuff, it needs to be seen with a doctor. And when I call the doctor, they can't see me for another month. So um, it's definitely scary because I don't know what's going to happen. So you might notice some changes. My wife might notice some changes. Um, there are some people that are afraid that me being off this medication. Um, that I'm going to unalive myself, which is not the case. Uh, I'm not going to allow that to happen, uh, so don't worry there. Um, I'm not going to unalive myself um, without this medication. Um, if things get really bad, if things get too bad, um, I may have to go to the hospital and check myself in, which, you know, I'm no uh, stranger to that. I've been there before um, a few times. Um it's what it's there for. It sucks. Um, it is basically kind of like jail, sort of, because it's very restrictive. And they don't really help you, but it's a nice place to go to try to be alone. And that's if they don't room you with somebody else that has way different mental health issues than me. Um, yeah, I'm kind of freaked out about it, though. I, don't, I, I am freaked out because I haven't been without this medication since maybe 2018. And I know when I took off the medication at that point where I lived in Mansfield and I didn't have any insurance or anything like that, I went off everything cold turkey and I became an absolute mess. And I don't want that to happen and I hope that doesn't happen and we're gonna to try to make that not happen. So, you know, I'll keep you guys updated from time to time to let you guys know how everything's going. Um, and yeah, so on and so forth. Uh, I'm still hoping that um, my job makes me permanent. Um, I don't know it's quite early. That was quite early, but you know the way they sold it to me was not exactly what they said it was. Um, but I'm gonna hang in there and keep going until they do, or if something better comes up. Um, benefits is very important to me. Um, you wouldn't, you know, when you're younger, you don't really think about that. But when you get older, I really do. Because it's nice that my wife has insurance and I had insurance. And it's nice to have PTO, vacation, sick time, all that jazz. Um, it's really helped in the past. Um, but I was going to lose it either way. Um, you know, 
whatever decision I made when transferring to a new job, I was going to lose it either way. Um, so lesson learned here. We're just trying to get through it. Uh, still trying to figure out the finances. We're going to be we're tight right now, but I think we'll be not as tight um, at the beginning of May. Um, I think after we get caught up, um, things will get better. Um, I'm trying to figure out a budget a whole lot better with since I'm not making as much money. Um, it's kind of crazy. Um, but I'm going to try to fix that too. And we're both working hard to do it. It's kind of hard right now. You, you, it's, it's crazy to think like, uh, let me just go. I make $20 an hour, $20 an hour. Um, and I do IT and I work 40 hours a week. Um, it's crazy because it doesn't feel like I'm making $20 an hour. It feels like I'm making about $12 an hour and that could be inflation. And, you know, I'm not going to argue about inflation or anything, but you guys know how expensive everything is right now. Everything's expensive. Every fucking thing's expensive and it sucks. It really sucks. And I don't see that uh, getting fixed anytime in the future. You know, I don't care what politician gets in the office. I don't see a fix to this. Uh, not for a while. Uh, maybe eventually it will calm down. Um, and I know the politicians and stuff, they're going to be like, oh, we're going to do this and that and this and that and fix the inflation. Uh, but the, at the end of the day, like when these people talk about that stuff, they are just trying to get your vote. Because um, most likely what happens is whenever they try to implement something like that, it gets felled by the other party or vice versa. Um, so I don't see a fix in this because, you know, politicians and all that, they do like money. They do like lobbyists and they, you know, work with these people, which sucks. It sucks for a lot of people. The middle class as it is now really doesn't exist anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to not get too deep into this, but yeah, like, um, you know, I make $20 an hour, um, and you know, it gets eaten up by taxes, um, but it feels like I'm making twelve dollars. I feel like I'm struggling more now than I was, you know, three or four years ago when I was making twenty dollars an hour. Because I was making twenty hours dollars an hour for a while at my old job, then I got put up to like twenty four. Uh, but you still do fill it in each paycheck. Um, that sucks, uh, especially with the way they did things. Um, but I am going to continue doing more and more stuff like that. Try to get back in ship shape. Um, so a few things, let's just let you know, I'm okay. Uh, I'll be fine. Um, be doing some praying. Um, I've, I've been listening to a lot of stuff, um, uh, religious stuff, and I'm not going to get into that because this isn't a religious channel, but if you ever want to know, uh, I am watching a lot of this stuff. I am talking a lot to other people about things. Um, so yeah, uh, I, I'm starting to feel a little bit better on the inside um, than I normally would. Um, I kind of feel like there's a little bit of calmness right now that's helping me out and hopefully um, I maintain that. I don't want to fall out of it again because I have a history of going in and out of this and I want to stay in this because right now I feel pretty good. I feel pretty safe. Um, despite all the hardships, I feel, I feel okay. I feel okay and I hope you guys are too. Um, I don't know if we'll have, uh, we're, we're, we're talking about getting me and Chad Yu, a uh, legislator. Uh, we're supposed to do some streams, um, hopefully soon. We haven't got a chance to talk about it really. Um, I talked to Colin um, over Project Constitution. Uh, I know some people might not like Colin. Um, I talked to him on TikTok and he's still playing chilly stuff, which I don't understand, I guess. The way he said it, that um, he was making that was making a lot of sales on the trifolds, and ever since all that shit started happening, um, Chile lost all of his uh, credibility and sales just plummeted. So I don't know how much money he was making before, but he's trying to run the channel still and try to make money from it, which I don't think is a good way to do it. I think if you, you should bring your own ideas. Um, nothing against Colin. Um, I'm sure he, you know, is in a spot where he may need this. Um, but yeah, yeah, I, I, I don't care about that shit. Um, other than that, man, like in May, uh, we got a birthday coming up for me. I'm going to 
I'm one of the big. <laughs> uh oh. I think my wife stepped on a cat. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, anyways, guys, uh, I'll talk to you guys soon.